There is no color in the air. What country is this? The Bronx. It's hot! That your kid, huh? Well, bad news, boys. Tough shit. But guess who's coming to take command next week? Just one more thing, sir. What? Stick a pineapple up your ass and pretend you're Hawaiian. Jesus. Damn it! Who the hell's coming? Line. Holland! See my urologist. Okay. Seven card. Anything wild? Deuces, threes, five, sevens, nines, and jacks. You are a very sick man. Are you finished? Templeman, this is all right. Radio, all right. Sorry, Colonel. It's hard to keep track of these. Major Grover, let him be. But Colonel, he's been... All right. The men may see me whenever they need to. You heard? Whatever you say, sir. Yes, sir. Quit drinking buttermilk daiquiris in the closet, Grover. That man is a lunatic and dangerous. Once, one night, I was walking the grounds. I hear this whispering, see, and I look. And up in the branches of the cypress tree, there's Groper, the crazy bastard, talking in whispers with an owl. A big black and white owl, they're common. Bring, understand me? I couldn't hear them clearly. And what I don't know for a fact, I don't say that's the kind of hairpin I am. No, sir, the words weren't clear, really, sir. Believe me. Doctor, it's easy to dig up a tree. And then anyone with money can fill in the hole. No, you didn't. Is this your dog? What does it look like, my zebra? What do you call him? Irresponsible. He's ten minutes late for rehearsal. Out, Sir Lawrence. <clears throat> Fucking headache, but goddamn it, somebody's got to do it. We're doing a terribly gripping scene where this very noble-looking Dalmatian whips his toga around himself thusly and snarls. Et tu, White Fang. See, if I cast a great Dane in the role, they're going to accuse me of being... Thank you. Excuse me. Lieutenant Spen... Looking for talent. So far, this production is a one-dog show. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are males. This dog is a female. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, it was only a suggestion. You go find these other mutts next time. Sorry. Jesus, why do I live like this? One roll and he thinks he's Barbara Streisand. Read the classics, it improves the whole respiratory system. Come on, it's back, okay? So you don't get these other guys cast their catches one day. Anon. About eight, ten. Quiet. I asked for Rosencrantz and Gildenstern, and what did you bring me? Tiny Alice. I want to Horatio, get me a greyhound. I said, get me a greyhound. Greyhound. That's right. Laertes. Pekingese. You know, playing three feet off the ground. I want people to wonder about him. That'll do it. Why the fuck are you bothering me? Polonius. Laertes is supposed to be a foil to Hamlet. Polonius. I swear I'm going to hit you in the mouth. Polonius. A chow. No ticky, no shirty. Pretty. No chow ain't that bad. What the fuck are you doing? I think he's suffocating. Good night, sweet friends. Good night.
time doing this. Hell, he never even saw me. I want you to drop like an overripe mango. A lot of psychiatrists are deeply disturbed. I've got the highest suicide rate of any profession in the world. Now, that's a fact. You can check it, Captain Billy. Mm -hmm. What the hell were you doing in the clinic? I had cookies in my teeth. Raisins and crap like that, you know? I needed some dental floss. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, he is Gregory Peck in Spellbound. He comes to take over the mental asylum and he's nuts himself. I swear it. It's just like that picture. I took a fork and in the tablecloth in front of him, I made ski tracks and he fainted. Put away the mask and unburden my aching, bleeding heart. My sweetest, I saw you but an instant, a semi-instant, yet I knew I was your slave. Some Shakespearean scholars, hold this, please. Some Shakespearean scholars, thank you. Some Shakespearean scholars say that when Hamlet is pretending to be crazy, he really is crazy, correct? That's right. Now, other Shakespearean scholars say that when Hamlet is pretending... Other Shakespearean scholars say that when Hamlet is pretending to be nuts, he really isn't nuts, it's an a psychiatrist. That's class. You get the feeling that you've been trapped in a car wash for about three Pretty. This ring is a... Why don't you go inoculate a fucking armadillo? Your interests are coextensive with Nero's ass on Sunday. Jesus. Now, is he really and truly crazy? Yeah, no. You're both wrong. Now think what happens. First the father dies. Then this girl leaves him flat. Then there's an appearance by the father's... Then the ghost tells him he was murdered. Uncle who recently married Hamlet's mother. Now that by itself is a hell of a hang-up because Hamlet liked his mother a lot. But then we're agreed Hamlet's insane. No, he's not. He is pretending. But... If Hamlet hadn't pretended to be crazy, he really would have gone crazy. See, Hamlet isn't psycho. He's hanging on the brink. A little shove, a little teensy, eensy, little eensy push, and the kid's gone. Bananas whacked out. So his unconscious mind makes him do what keeps him sane, namely acting like he's not. See, because acting crazy. It's a way to let off steam. A way to get rid of your fucking aggressions. A way to get rid of your fears and your terror. What Hamlet does in this play, they'd lock me up, they'd put me in prison, they'd punish me, sure. But him, Prince Royal Garbage Mouth, gets away with murder, and why? Meantime, the crazier Hamlet acts, the more he indulges himself the healthier he gets. I think I'm waiting. I think I agree with your theory. Yes! Do you understand that now, you dumb, stupid mm. idiot? From now on, we do the scene my way. Mm. God bless your veins and your arteries, Colonel. So long as you don't know shit. Did he buy it? Did he buy it? Hell, I bought it. You're a stupid agent, never to waste any more of my time. The first class. Can you imagine? Look at that. Here I am, casting Julius Caesar, and what do they send me? A dog that lisps. Spinel. Out. Take a hike. Your turn. Out. Get out of here. Get lost. Give me a reason. One good reason. Colonel, do me a favor, please. Explain to this moron here that in none of the plays of Shakespeare can there be a part of a Superman. That could be the way I explained it. The way you explain. Jesus. Do you know what he wants? You want to hear? 
When the conspirators draw their knives, he wants to rescue Julius Caesar. Ready? Swoop down like a rocket, pick him up, and then go hurdling mighty temples in one single incredible bound. Jesus, Mimic, are you crazy? Gentlemen, who put the flies in my paint pan? Bananas. Preps. Preps. Please. Scarlet, look at this. Did you bring any photographs on huh? Jesus. Go talk to your brother. I think he has the falling sickness. Christian, uh, go. 